everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's time for another bold video, but I want to do something a bit different, and it's actually something that I've wanted to try it for a long time, and that is to build a Hackintosh system, which is when you use like Apple OS X software, but on a normal gaming or just normal PC hardware, where you don't have to spend extra thousands of dollars just to get that to work. So. I'm going to do that, but I also want to do something a bit more different where I actually build like two systems in one, the Hackintosh system and then also my Windows gaming system in one case, pretty much all of the hardware shared between all of them. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to do them both at the same time. I do have two SSDs, a terabyte for my Windows system for my games and then a 500 gig SSD for my Hackintosh. So I will have to dual boot between those two. It's not too big of a deal. It's quite quick. Uh, but yeah, that is my mission. But you guys might see that of these two GPUs and what is the reason for that? So the reason I have two GPUs is because especially for Hackintosh systems, they are very finicky about the hardware that you use. They don't work on everything. So this might not work for everybody. It does depend on your hardware. And luckily the hardware that I have actually worked. So I am really glad for that. But there's still some issues here and there. Some stuff doesn't work, some stuff works perfectly. So there's always a mix and match. Uh, but uh, for the GPUs, because Apple kind of works with AMD GPUs, uh, that is the reason why I'm using my uh, Aorus RX 570, which is going to in my top PCI Express 16 time slot. Uh, but I also have uh, the GTX 980 that I'm going to use for my gaming side because it does get more FPS than the RX 570. But the problem is I am going to have to run this one in my bottom PCI Express 16 time slot but it's only a 4x speed slot. So kind of losing a bit more performance there, but as you guys will see, I don't really lose uh, that much more. Uh, and especially for gaming, uh, this one is better than this one. So that is why I'm kind of using these two. I can quickly switch between them and just get the best of both worlds. But I'm just quickly going over the rest of the hardware I'm using the ASUS TUF Z370 Plus Gaming for my motherboard. Pretty good motherboard for the price. I'm using the 8700K, which I'm going to overclock to around 4.7 upwards. Might not hit 5 because of my uh, cooler, which is the, Cap uh, the Deep Cool Captain 120E. It's only a 120 millimeter all-in-one cooler. It's unfortunately the only one I have left that I can use. So that is the reason why. But I do have a bunch of RGB-ness that I'm going to use. Six HD 120 fans, lighting strips uh, for memory. It's kind of a mix and a match. This entire bowl is a mix and match. So that's why I'm going with this to get the most performance out. I've got a two 16 gig kits of Corsair Vengeance memory. The one is the pro version which is white and then uh, the other one is just a normal RGB version which is black. So mix and match but it's still going to look cool. Uh, and then for power supply I have the Antec True Power Classic uh, 750 watt which is a gold rated power supply which is going to be enough to handle all of the hardware even with these two GPUs. And then just finally for the case, I am using the Corsair Obsidian 500D with its dual tempered glass side panels that looks really cool. But uh, that's pretty much all of the hardware that I'm going to use. Let me know so far down in the comments if you're excited for this build. What are your thoughts on like a dual system? Uh, and then with that, let's uh, jump into uh, the build video. And then finally, I'm going to also show you guys uh, how to switch between the two operating systems. So let's get into it.
Okay, so the motherboards and the power supplies and the power supplies connected so far. Not entirely yet, we still need to do the GPUs. So we have the Aorus RX570 and then our EVGA GTX uh, 980. I wish it was a 1080. <laughs> And then we are done with the build. So as you guys can see, uh, I kind of had to swap around the GPUs, had to use the AMD card as my main, and then also I had to mount the all-in-one here at the top. Couldn't fit it in the front because the pipes weren't long enough, so that kind of sucked. But now let's quickly turn it on, boot up into Windows, and then also Mac OS, and then... RGB, yeah. <laughs> so inside the device, you guys can see that I do have my four Corsair Vengeance 8 gig memory modules. Uh, I currently don't have an overclock applied. Let's just go there. Uh, so it's only running at stock, but I am gonna overclock that to about 4.7 gigahertz just to keep the RAD uh, in check because it's not really the best one. Uh, but memory is also again uh, going up to three gigahertz. Let me just see if that is actually applied. Yeah, that is applied. Oh no, sorry, it's already overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. So that is good. Uh, so now let us quickly boot into Mac OS first. So let's quickly do that. Uh, so I all I need to do is select my 500 gig SSD and then we just wait for Clover to boot up and then just Select this the hard drive and then we're done. There we go. Now again, this won't work on all of the hardware out there. Uh, it kind of works with specific hardware, so it's it, it's a bit tricky. Uh, like also for example, my USB 2.0 ports on my motherboard doesn't work. There's no drivers. Sound uh, the the back audio driver of connections, they don't work, so I have to do it either through USB or through HDMI. And there we go, so let's quickly just log in. And yeah, that is pretty much that. Uh, that We can reopen that if we really wanted to, but that's fine. And now, I don't really have a lot of programs installed, kind of got a few, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I don't think my wireless drivers, I need to still fix that. So I'm currently using just a, a USB TP-Link wireless adapter. I kind of need to find the drivers and get that to work. So it is a work in progress thing. The, the entire Hackintosh, there's always going to be some problems uh, getting up. So yeah, uh, hopefully it's not really anything too crazy. I from all that I've actually been able to do, uh, like I've worked on uh, Final Cut Pro for a bit and so on, uh, I didn't work really well, so I don't really have that that many problems. A lot of people do have a lot of stuff that don't work, like their, their graphics cards uh, and so on, uh, but luckily I don't really have that problem. So here it is, uh, works pretty well. And now let's quickly restart and then go into Windows. So this is the only issue with like this system that I've built. I kind of have to restart every time to get it into the OS that I want. So if I want to go into Mac OS, I have to restart. If I want to go into Windows, I have to restart again. 
Luckily it is SSD, so they are relatively quick uh, and we are in Windows, so that was kind of quick. Uh, Alright, so uh, we have 3D Mark here. We're going to run a Fire Strike. Uh, currently it is running on the, uh, the RX 570. Then what I've actually seen is that I can just plug out the cable and plug it into uh, the 980 in the bottom slot and it actually worked. Uh, I was kind of worrying that I wouldn't be able to actually uh, do that because in my BIOS there's not an option to really disable uh, the, the top slot and just use the bottom slot so I was worried about that but from my testing running 3D Mark it actually worked quite well uh, I don't I'm not getting the exact performance that I would have gotten if I uh, installed the 980 in a top slot I'm getting about like 0 to 10 percent uh, FPS or a drop just because it's uh, four times lane but it works and it's still more than the RX 570 so I'm quickly gonna run two benchmarks show you guys the difference between the RX 570 and then also the 980 by just literally swapping the HDMI cable so then for our score with the RX 570 we're getting a total score of 11,467 with a GPU score of a 13,030 and a CPU score of uh, a physics score of 21,151 uh, so that is pretty good and you guys can see here hopefully the camera can pick that up uh, Radeon RX 570 series at the top and then NVIDIA 980 at the bottom so let's quickly swap them around and then see what we get so literally all I need to do take that out plug it in and then it starts back up so now let's just run that again and see what we get Kind of just have to remember these scores now all right so for our score with the gtx 980 in the bottom a full-time slot we got a total score of 12,833 a gpu score of 14,344 and a physics score of 21,136 so the physics score is a tiny bit lower uh but with like two or oh, 20 20 points but the gpu score is up with like 1300 so that is a tiny bit higher not like crazy so for my gaming i'm definitely gonna get way more performance out even though it is running on the four times slot uh, it is gonna get more performance compared to the rx 570 in the top slot so that's pretty much it for our hackintosh slash gaming windows build and uh, now again uh, this might not be permanent i might just take a, a part later on again if i need more of the parts for a, a different build uh, so it was just a fun little thing that i wanted to do uh, and again not permanent but yeah i think it was a bit more interesting than most other like hackintosh or just gaming builds where Two GPUs, one just that I really needed with the RX 580 to work with the Akintosh, but I want to get more gaming performance out for my Windows side, and that's why I put in the, the 980. So, yeah, it was a bit more interesting, and I just wanted to have a bit more fun. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you guys have any other ideas you would want me to do, builds or whatever, let me know down in the comments below, and then I will check all of you guys in the next video. So, cheers guys.